All right, part two of the zodiac signs reading, timeless. <laughs> so this is going to be the earth and the air. So let's do, let's start with earth. Let's do Virgo. What is the good? So I always do the good things coming in, then love and finances. So what's good is coming in for Virgos? Your wound is probably not your fault, but your healing is your responsibility. You know what's up, trust it. You know, for a while, I feel like you were avoiding your feelings, your traumas, your pain. Um, but I feel like now you're realizing that as you heal, it's actually making you stronger. And every time you heal a little bit or face something, you're rewarded with something better. It's like you level up with your finances or you find a better lover, lover or you just feel better. So what good is coming in? So it's funny because I feel like for a while you felt like you kept trying to make something work and you were just bumping heads or into a wall and it felt like, why do I keep doing this? And then you finally took a step back and realized what part you played in this like conflict, this not working out. And now that you've taken the time to do the healing and realize where you went wrong and change your own characteristics it's like luck is on your side and now you have this dream that's coming into fruition but you need to like make a plan over the next 12 months of how to really build this and grow this whether it's a relationship or um, finances but luck is on your side so as long as you're putting in the work towards this you're going to be benefited um, like greatly whatever this goal this plan is all right let's look at love love the moon. There's something you're not seeing clearly when it comes to love. And I feel like it's a need to self-reflect on yourself and why you're attracting certain people, why you're in the same circumstances, and what you need to change in yourself to change that. One more. Yeah, there's a need for you to take a step back and ice. Like, this is internal. You're not seeing clearly yourself either you're not feeling worthy of somebody and this person thinks very highly of you but because you don't feel ver worthy it's like you sabotage in some way you let your your fear get in the way of just reaching for the stars and what you truly want there's somebody here that I feel like you've probably gone back and forth with for a while and I feel like you're finally seeing where you've allowed your own fears to sabotage this and you're not going to allow that anymore if you're with somebody, it's like you guys are going to get on the same page and it's going to be the next chapter of your relationship that's going to feel less toxic. What's the finances and career? Yeah, you've been going through some financial losses, like things have been feeling bare or you've just been taking losses or it's like the money's not coming in how it used to. Um, and that could be putting a damper on everything within in what's going on in your life. Um, it just feels like arguments or people screwing you or nobody being there to support you and you've supported everybody else um, and just feeling broke, it feels like. Just feeling like, why is nothing working for me right now, no matter what I try? But I feel like it has to do with your confidence and going into branching into something new. I feel like you, again, it's that butting heads energy where it's like you're trying to make one path that's worked for you in the past work. And the universe wants you to go on another whole complete new path that's going to even bring you more. But you have to have the confidence to do that. Um, and until you switch paths, this, the one that you keep knocking into and bumping heads with and it's not working out, it's going to be the same thing until you decide to take a new path when it comes to your finances. All right. If it resonates, subscribe, like, share, all the good stuff. And if you want a reading, the description's in the bio. Let me know how it resonated. Um, the Lotus that space is the website where you can find out about personal readings. All right, let's do Capricorn. What's Capricorn's messages? You are unbothered. <laughs> you know, rise above the F headedness. I feel like you may have gone back and forth with somebody or allowed your emotions to get the best of you in the past. But at this point, if everybody else wants to be angry, sad and miserable, you're like, okay, go ahead. I'm going to stay in my little bubble and I'm happy and I'm not being involved in that. I'm working on myself. 
I'm focused on myself, my family's safe, that's all that matters. So what's good's coming in is you learning how to not allow everybody else around you to affect your space, your energy, your happiness. Like you're no longer, you're rising above all the BS for sure. All right, let's see. Love. Love. <laughs> it's if this feels like it's relating to love like luck has not been on your side when it comes to love like you might be continuing to go through some karmic cycles karmic lessons um just not it just doesn't feel good it really doesn't and i feel like at this point that's the rising above the bs like you're approaching this from a different uh, way you're the way you communicate with somebody or um, even if you continue to go back to somebody or you're just walking away and putting yourself first. But when it comes to love, you're shifting how you deal with love and how you feel about love. There's a shift within you about what you want. Like maybe you liked one type of person before, like maybe you liked bad boys or maybe you liked bougie girls or whatever it is. But now it's like, no, I don't want that. I want this, like I'm grown now and I'm, it, it could be a complete shift and it could be scary because it's a big change for you, but it's going to be worth it and it's going to bring you exactly what you want. Yep. Your wish fulfillment and happiness. Um, let's look at finances and career. When it comes to your finances, you are not to be played with. Like you will, you listen to your intuition when it comes to your finances. And even when things go wrong, you overcome it very quickly. So if there's small obstacles with finances, you're not worried about it. You're pushing to forward towards the next thing. But you also are not to be played with. If people don't play with you about your money. Like you do not play. They know that will release a whole nother side of you if someone tries to steal from you or take from you or mess up what you have financially. So you're, you're very cutthroat when it comes to what you need, but you're also very logical. You know what you have to do, what needs to get done, and you hold yourself accountable to get these things done so that you can have the finances that you need. So when it comes to your finances, it feels like you're doing good. There's not a worry in the world. No matter how much or how little, like, you know it's going to continue to come into you. You don't chase money, it, you attract it. All right. And keep listening to your intuition because that's really leading you. It's like a good balance between your passion, your heart, and your mind. It's like you have the perfect balance between the two to make sure your finances stay exactly where they need to go or be and continue to raise. All right, like, subscribe, like, subscribe, share, let me know how you feel. <laughs> and if you want a reading, the Lotus that space, it's in the um, description. All right, let's do Taurus. What's the good coming of Taurus? Taurus, you're getting a new perspective on life. I feel like for a long time, you've been looking at life very negatively because you're so stuck in the past and a little bit in your pride. Um, you're allowing pride to hold you back. You're allowing the past to hold you back. Um, but I feel like you're finally letting go of that and realizing all of the blessings that you have around you and being grateful for them so that more can come in. You're not focusing on the things that didn't serve you or didn't help you or weren't there for you or made you feel crappy. You're now focused on the positive and you're seeing, I feel like you're seeing the blessings coming in. That's the good stuff coming, more blessings. Like there's going to be a lot more blessings coming in to make you realize that, okay, I had these tough times, but now I'm moving forward. Now I'm seeing these blessings and I'm so grateful and they keep coming in and I'm loving life. That's the energy coming in for you. What's love? What's love? Yeah, it feels like you've had a lot of tough battles, especially in love, in life. And it's, I think the love... The issues you are having with love, it seems like a lot of karmic cycles or karmic lessons, but I feel like you're coming out of that because you've aced them all and now you're moving forward, even if you have to move forward alone. There could be a cancer coming into your life or a cancer that's very important in your life um, that helps you to see clearer or see the blessings or not get so caught up in pride or ego or even holding on to people that don't deserve you or love you. Um, but there's something here about a cancer that's very, um, if they feel like a positive influence where there might be a Capricorn that is more of a negative influence, 
that keeps causing like tower moments in your life. But I feel like for your, you and love, you're moving past that anymore. You're not tolerating things that you no longer deserve. What about finances and career? Let's see. Finances, career. You need to get out of your head. You're so focused on the things that you've lost that you don't even see that right behind you. There's something that's 10 times better than what you lost. You really need to get out of your head and out of your fears and stop keeping yourself stuck in a cycle that's not good for you. If you don't like what you're doing as a career, change the career. If it doesn't make you happy, it's not going to change. If it stresses you out, it's not going to change. You have to change careers. You have to change businesses or you have to change employment. You have to make the change. It's time to get out of your head because you're going to stay. It's like crying over spilled milk, crying over the things that you don't like, but you're not doing anything to change it. It's time to change it. It's time to stand up. It's time to get your power back. It's time to move forward. And it's time to change what you don't like, what's not serving you. Um, and that feels like an overall message. Like you keep allowing the past. It's like you keep looking to the past with everything that happens instead of moving forward. Or you keep complaining about things, but not doing anything to change it. All right. And this, if you have been making that shift, then this is a message of confirmation to keep doing what you're doing. Uh, like, subscribe, share. Let me know how you're feeling in the comments. And if you would like a reading, the Lotus that space. So, all right, let's get into air. Let's do Gemini. Don't be an ungrateful ish. What's the good stuff coming? You have a whole new beginning coming, a whole new start, a whole new, a better life. Um, and it's funny because I feel like whatever is coming in might not be what you expected or what you had wanted. And they're literally telling you, don't be ungrateful. This person can give you, or this job can give you exactly what you wanted. It might not be the way you thought it was going to happen or with the person you thought it was going to happen, but it's exactly what you want. So if you're going to be ungrateful and not appreciate what we're giving to you, go back to the karmic situation you're in the karmic person or the situation that you're in but there's something there there's a shift here where you're going to have a choice to move forward and you're going to be gifted exactly what you want but it's up to you not to be ungrateful and to appreciate that person that job that offer that blessing that came to you and not focus on the negative focus on the positive focus on all the blessings that are coming into you not the fears all right let's do love Love. Love. Judgment. One, I feel like you allow your friends, your family, you talk too much about what you have going on in love. And then you might be going back and forth with somebody. And when you're angry, you're constantly talking about all of that. But then your friends, your family hate this person. And when you guys get on the good side of things, they're like, oh, uh. Stop, stop, stop telling people about your love life. Stop telling people about, even if it is like you're having a great love life and you're telling everybody that, people get jealous and they might try to take it from you. There's no, like you're overindulging information about your love life that needs to stay within your connection. There's, you gotta stop. And you gotta stop because one, it's confusing you. You have so many other people's opinions in your mind about your love life instead of just you and that person. You've gotta stop. You might like to talk. I know you guys are the, the sign of communications, but you got to stop. Like, you, this is this is supposed to be private. This is between you and somebody else. Yep. I think you already know this deep down inside and that this is affecting your love life and that you need to stop um, telling people so much about it. Finances and career for Gemini. You have a new direction that you can take that actually, it seems like a masculine energy is coming in that's trying to give you this opportunity, a new direction that you can take. This is something that actually will fulfill you and that you'll be passionate about. If it's not a person bringing you the opportunity, it's your joy or how this can make you happy. And as you create this or build this or this new position or going to a new job, 
Um, whatever it is, this new direction is going to bring you a lot of fulfillment, just not financially, but also like spiritually and emotionally. So take this new direction and it's definitely manifest what you want and not what you don't want. Take control of your life and manifest the things that you want to see happen, the good that you want to have come in and, and what you truly desire. Um, don't be ungrateful <laughs> again. All right. So subscribe, like, let me know how you were feeling about the reading and um share and if you would like a personal reading the lotus that space it's in the bio or in the, the bio in, in the description but on tiktok too much all right libra grab your own butt and love yourself you know libra i feel like you yeah it's like you're no longer allowing your fears to hold you back like if you want to travel but you had nobody to travel with you're going out and traveling by yourself if you were nervous about being alone for the rest of your life. You're not scared anymore because you love yourself and you're comfortable with yourself. For you, I feel like you guys are finally taking your power back or getting in your power where you no longer let fears hold you back. And you're loving yourself. You're doing things that you enjoy and that make you happy. And that's going to bring a lot of happiness into your life. So for you, I feel like you're finally working past your fears. And once you do, you're going to be rewarded with how great it makes you feel. So then the next time a fear comes up, you're going to be like, oh, I can get through this. That's the energy. All right, love, that's the good stuff. Let's do love. Okay, this, <laughs> I'm hearing, I can see clearly now the rain is gone. I feel like when it comes to love, you've gotten some kind of clarity. Um, you finally know the truth about something. Um, and this has allowed you to stand in your power. You're now, you, you could be pregnant or have gotten somebody pregnant. There's a pregnancy energy here, but there's also very much a feminine energy that <clears throat> you're very in tune with your needs, your wants, your desires. And if this isn't a baby, you're, you're, well, it's, this is a love reading, so it should be a baby, but it could be a new relationship, the blossoming of a new relationship, because you're now finally seeing clearly your wants, your needs, and your desires, and you're allowing somebody in that can give that to you if you're not pregnant. For those in a relationship, it could be that you're getting pregnant or creating something new within your relationship. Fears and, or finances and career. So you could be having some financial difficulties, but I feel like you're going to find a way through this. Like you're going to find, you're having financial difficulties, but maybe you'll get like a loan or a credit card or something that will help you pay things off for right now. And then you'll have time to kind of increase your finances and pay this off over time without interest. Um, but it's like whatever loss you're taking, you're very quick to find a way to find a solution. So it's not like you have anything to fear. It's like you're very resourceful, I'm hearing. So even when things get tough, you always find a way around it and you're confident in yourself enough to get through this when it comes to your finances. All right, now we have subscribe, like, share. Let me know how you were feeling. If it resonates, if it doesn't, go look at one of your other signs. <laughs> your rising, sun, moon, and Venus. Um, and if you like a personal reading, the lotus that space is in the description. So last we have Aquarius. Aquarius. The secret to being a good human is not taking your shit out on others. So you, as there was another sign that had this too, like there was, there's something you've been working on or something that I feel like you haven't fully speaking your truth on it yet. Um, but there's an answer. It's almost like because you haven't, you haven't spoken your truth because you're not 100% sure about the direction you're taking or where you're going. Um, but I feel like the answer is about to come to you so that you know which way to go. But in the moment while you're waiting for this and in the anxiety, make sure that you're not allowing your your depression or your sadness or your anger um, to be taken out on other people while you're trying, waiting for this answer to come in. Um, so the answer is coming, but just be careful about how you're treating the people around you while you wait for this answer, why you're stressed out or why you're trying to build on something. All right, let's do love. Love. The emperor. 
So your divine partner is either here or coming in. Yeah, your, your love life is looking good. Okay, so for those that are single, I feel like you feel like you already know who your person is, but I don't know that you have fully said anything about it or told this person how you feel. Um, or if they're not here yet, they're coming very soon. No, I don't feel that. I feel like there's already somebody within your energy that is your divine partner, but you just might not, maybe you have too many options that you don't know which one it is. And there's a need for you to get clarity on that so that you don't end up choosing a karmic and somebody that's not worthy of you. It's like the ones, those options that you have, whichever ones you already know off the bat aren't the right ones. It's time to cut that out so that you can narrow it down because your lover is here. Your divine person, your pairing is here. But you just might not be seeing it because you have so many options or so many other things going on that you're not concentrating on that. And if you are in a relationship, you you guys are already, like, you're you're happy with this person. You guys are content. Like, not saying you don't have arguments or, like, you guys don't have arguments that cause you both to have to learn how to grow and change and adapt to each other's likings. But you guys are solid in what you have. And it's going to continue to be that way. Like, you guys look very good together. <laughs> and you've overcome all the obstacles that have been thrown your way. All right, let's go finances and career. Yeah, I feel like you have, when it comes to your finances and career, you have almost gone ghost on people to focus on this. Um, it's like you're very isolating yourself right now so that you can focus on building a business, building your career, building whatever it is that you want to build. You don't have time for distractions. Um... And that could be part of it, too, is that you're not seeing who this lover is because you have so many things that you're juggling right now. Or your mind is just too focused on your career and finances. If you don't have multiple people you're talking to, it's just you're focused on so many other things that you don't even see what's right in front of you when it comes to love. One more card. Yeah, there's something, when it comes to your finances, there's something you're not clear, seeing clearly. Like, either you're a workaholic and you're working too hard and not smart. It's like you're trying to work too hard but not smartly. The way you're going about creating something, and it feels more so entrepreneurial, um, isn't the right way. There's another route you can take that's better. Um, but it might require you to spend more money or put more time into this or learn something in order to make it happen the way you want it to. It could involve a water sign, this financial endeavor, Pisces, um, Cancer, Scorpio, or a Virgo. One more. Okay, you might have had to cut somebody out of this in order for this to elevate. And it's funny because you had the emperor come out with the love card and here's the empress. So there might have been somebody that you had to cut out of the deal and that made it more of a financial burden or somebody that just wasn't as invested in it as you, who you thought was going to be there. But that's okay. If you don't dwell on that too much, it actually happened for a reason because you're meant to take another path. This is meant to be yours. Yours. Something that you created all by yourself. And if you're working at a job, it's meant for you to elevate. But there's certain things that habits that you have to cut off first to show like your commitment to this job. To make the employer want to give you that raise or that promotion or whatever it is. Um, all right. Like, subscribe. Like, subscribe. Like, subscribe, share. If you would like a personal reading, the lotus.space is in the description. And let me know how you thought. All right. Love y'all. Bye.